Good morning, my rideshare drivers and passengers. Uh, good afternoon, wherever you're located. Welcome to the channel. Um, today's topic is on fleet veil. Um, my first day was yesterday. I'm on my second day today. Um, uh, just sadly to say, out of like those eight passengers that I had on my task, on my task list. In a quarter mile, merge on. Let me exit out of here. Um, out of eight, put it like this, only two of them showed up. <laughs> only two showed up, the rest were no shows. And the sad part about it is, you know, you have to obviously call them so you don't get caught out there with those no shows. Sad part about it is if you still travel there, you're only getting a $3 fee for no shows. It sucks. Yeah, you're only getting three dollars, even if they're maybe two, three exits away from where you are, within your radius. You're still gonna get three dollars. I know it sucks. So um, I, I I'm like testing the waters, and it's not what I thought. Um, you get paid weekly. They give you your shift before the week starts your tasks um, how many you know patients you got to pick up and it's not working out the way I thought um, yesterday I had three no shows back to back today another three was just added um, I only did I only completed one yesterday I completed two but a one way with one yesterday so really one round trip and then just one half half a trip like I said this is good for you know if Uber is giving you a hard time or you're on suspension over some false reports and you need some money to fall back on it's not the next best thing but you know it's it's something to hold you down for whatever reason it is I thought it was gonna be way more busier than this as far as in people actually showing up to their appointments and I guess, you know, like I said, a lot of them are the clinic, uh, the methadone clinic. So they either probably stuck somewhere or, you know, they're just not having it. They, they overslept, you know what I mean? They got that thing in their arm or they got it stuck up their noses, man. You know, all my riders out there, man. Holy shit. Uh, have them wait. Have them wait. I'm going to do one more. I'm gonna do one more for the road. And if I Oh, and if I if I get up then I'll I will take my med cap. That's what's going on, guys. That's that's what's going on. I called some girl yesterday who I was supposed to pick up and I'm like, yay, hi Tracy. Um this is your Chris, your bail driver, your on fleet driver. Uh, I was just making sure, you know, you're going to be around for when I get there. Because that was an easy, what, five or six exits away within the county. But still, it's a hike, you know. So, I'm like, you know, you're going to be up or what? She's like, yeah, I'm going to be up. But I have my regular driver. Why are they sending you? And what's with all the questions? <sighs> It was crazy. It was crazy. I already got the idea of what's happening. And, um, yeah, it was just that bad. It was that bad. <laughs> um, this is my second day, once again. And it's not working to my advantage. I'm probably missing out on a lot of money for Uber, even though they're the dead days, Monday and Tuesdays. But who knows? You always get that hit or miss good ride, right? So... Who knows if I'm possibly wasting time doing this. Uh, I'm probably wasting more time with this than anything. Plus uh, miles and gas money. Because if these uh, patients are not answering and they're no-shows half the time, what's the point of only getting lucky with out of eight patients with two? Um, that's what I don't get. It's from, what, 6 a.m. to 11 a.m., but... 
nothing is it's playing out the way it's supposed to be. Put it that way. Um, so maybe if you're doing veil, like in busy cities, it's a different story. But like I said, I'm in a suburban area. So, you know, on fleet is the best option out here. And it's apparently not working. It's really not working at all. So, you know, I'm going to finish the day off. I only put down for three days. I'm supposed to be scheduled for tomorrow as well. Um, right now, I have maybe, what, two more riders lined up. And that's even if they also answer and do show up, which will be great. Um, in the meantime, I mean, the structure is good. It's just the patients. They're not consistent. They're not consistent. Um, I don't understand why. Uh, what, if it's mental health, you know, you're going to get somebody to go to their mental health. Like the last one, she came out. Like I said, if it's a clinic, it's, it's hit or miss. And I don't understand. I thought, like, they need that meth. Like, you've seen Critical Condition with Richard Pryor. 1987's Critical Condition. And it's similar to that movie um, dealing with this kind of outlet, you know. And uh, like I said... Yeah, well... I can't make it tonight. I got enough math in my system to last me. Oh, yeah, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, I just don't want nobody in that back seat passing out on me, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like that, that will fucking bug me the fuck out. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I just thought I'd keep you guys posted. As promised, I'm going back to my Ubering. Um, I'm like I said, I'm probably losing out on some Uber rides. I'm up this early. I might as well just put the Uber app on. So, yep, they're hitting me up right now. Yeah, cancellations. Yeah, she just hit me up. She wrote, this is my dispatcher, by the way. <laughs> she wrote,